Hello, it's Daryl. Coming back for another vlog. Um, I was asked by someone on my channel to make a video about pornography. Uh, now, pornography is quite an interesting um, thing that one could become addicted to very, very easily. It seems that our addictions come about because we fall into a pattern and uh, sort of a trap because uh, it feels good and uh, you know what's the harm I'm not hurting anybody I'm not you know caught making a crime or anything uh, whether it, if it's uh, pornography and or you know, drugs cigarettes alcohol sugar uh, these things usually feel good to us and we just uh, you know give into it because it feels good how bad can it be now when it comes to pornography uh, this is something that can be quite a problem for uh, people uh, because usually the you know when you're looking at pornography you're doing it by yourself or if you have like really cool friends, you can do it with them, you know, just look at porn all day or whatever. But um, it's not quite a victimless, victimless crime as we uh, are led to believe. Um, I don't particularly have uh, any desire to watch pornography uh, or um, you know, justify its existence. Uh, mainly because uh, there is a addiction element to it where you know I found myself um, uh, wanting to stop and not you know knowing how to or you know just not finding the the will or discipline to stop uh, but uh, after I um decided to become more and more self-honest with myself and uh, really dove into the destiny process uh, I really I was I was um, was pretty easily able to uh, break out of that cycle um, and I'm sure there are people who are you know viewing pornography which is fun you know I mean that's the good part that people uh, latch on to. I mean, how can it be bad? It makes me feel good, la la la. But um, there is a problem with it because you end up watching more and more and reading more and more. And um, it does have some sort of mental effect on a being and it doesn't really translate into good sex relations with another person, uh, usually. I mean, I never could make it work that way, so uh, for me it was like the pornography was always better than the real sex, and that's a problem because you're in your mind uh, trying to be John Holmes or somebody, and uh, you're taking yourself away from any human interaction that would be meaningful. I mean, it's some of the things you see on these uh, pornos are amazing, but uh, I knew if I figured out why I was addicted or why I was, you know, driven to watch it, I could stop. And I did. I ended up stopping uh, because there is no such thing as a victimless crime. If something is uh, happening and you're like standing by watching it you feel like there's no connection between uh, some sort of abuse going on in yourself even if it's on a laptop or a computer screen uh, there's this this distance that we have uh, fixed in our minds that seems to like protect us from whatever's going on on the other side of the camera. I mean, we don't know what's going on. We don't know what kind of uh, messed up shit's going on with the people. We don't know if these people are actually enjoying it. 
we don't know what the effects of the pornography is and people who like just uh, can't get enough of it. Uh, I did see a report once uh, that the more men masturbate, the less they're able to enjoy sex with a woman, you know, the older they get. So that's, that's something I would want to look forward to. Um, pornography, you know, you can cut it out your life. You can prove that you are addicted or not addicted by just stopping and not letting it, you know, suck up your time. I mean, if we're really self-honest, uh, we can understand why we give into our addictions and why it's so hard to stop. But you can stop. You can stop. You can stop. Just stop. All right, that's my vlog for today. I'll talk to you guys later. Come see my website, Daryl Thomas at uh, DarylThomas.wordpress.com, and uh, hit me up with a comment or something. I appreciate it, guys. Take it easy.